here we have two local species of turtles. This one is the Kenaston and Scorpioides. And this guy here is the Rhinoclemes punctularia. So we're gonna go into more details about these species. So in this video we look at the Kenosidian Scorpioides in which we have two of right now and let's look a little more at this one. So these are locally known as the scorpion mud turtle or the gallop or sometimes even called the stinkhead right and this one here is a female and you can tell it's a female because she has a flat plastron. Plastron is the underneath part of the turtle and well, within males and females, they have a domed carapace, carapace being the top. So let's look at the male. And as you can see here, the male has a curved plastra. And this is to help them during courtship. Alright, so let's get into how, what these animals do actually. So they live almost anywhere in Trinidad. You can find them in drains and puddles even just flooded areas and they're very adaptable to almost any habitat because sometimes you even find them close to coastal regions so a female well this is an adult female here can typically have anywhere between 6 to 18 eggs between the months of March to May and the eggs take about let's say roughly 90 days to incubate may vary by one or two days depending on the condition of them and they are omnivores so they eat anything they actually do clean up after us humans when they're in like our residential drains so they're a good thing to have around so these turtles actually have let's say a special ability right so they can bury themselves in mud when the water source there dries up and they would stay there until water is replenished the source once again kind of like some sort of hibernation now let's cover the fact about these as pets. So a lot of people in Trinidad have these as pets, but they are a protected species and if you have them as pets, you should have your necessary permits to keep them. Yeah.